In the last five months, I've fired myself from cold calling and this is the best thing I've ever done. I've hired others to cold call for me and as a result, I have taken several listings in the last five months and I'll explain each one of them to you. I no longer need to cold call anymore. I've achieved a level of freedom that I have never achieved in my life. Sometimes I don't even go on the listing appointments anymore and I still earn 50% of that transaction. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down in great detail, step-by-step, step, how I did this and how I plan on using the listing machine to step away from production. Which is crazy because I've been grinding cold calling for the last five years. So let me explain the listing machine to you. So first, before I get like super specific, I'm gonna explain to you the broad structure of this. The whole premise and the reason behind doing this is to be able to scale and leverage your money to be able to lead generate for you constantly. So currently I have a team of three ISAs that I pay $6 an hour to, and those three ISAs, they are cold calling for me six hours a day each. So without me having to cold call, I am cold calling for 18 hours a day. And so through my management and training of these ISAs, they're trained to cold call through uh, the most efficient dialer, the Enzo dialer, and they're circle prospecting homeowners in a huge, like a 30 mile radius around me. And their job is just to find hand raisers, people that want to sell their home within one year. When they find that homeowner, they put them in my follow-up boss and then I set the appointment with them. So my mornings, instead of cold calling, is now to sit down in front of my desk at 8 a.m., look at my follow-up boss, and I have, I typically have anywhere from like five to 10 new seller leads that I need to call and set an appointment with. I've averaged it out. Each of these seller leads cost about $20 per lead. Um, or another way to look at it is each ISA, I pay $600 a month. So all in, I'm paying about $1,800 just for the ISA. I also pay them commissions when a deal closes. And um, it's, a, it's another several hundred dollars for the Enzo dialer seats and for, sell, uh, and for and the follow-up boss. So currently I'm paying about like a little under three grand for everything uh, with my three ISAs and their tools. I have them on Enzo, I'm using coal information for my data and I have them on, uh, on a follow-up boss seat. Check the description down below. I have 30% off of Enzo plus um, no initiation fee and I have $200 off your year with coal information. So, so once you have multiple ISAs sweeping um, zip codes for you, your job now becomes to sit down at your desk and call through the seller leads. You're basically a, follow, a professional follow-upper. So, so again, you no longer are cold calling, you are following up with homeowners that have raised their hand saying, yeah, I wanna sell within a year. Now, this isn't all sunshine, butterflies, and rainbows. You still need to be good at appointment setting, and when you're in front of the seller, you need to get good at getting that agreement signed. And what you're gonna find here is a lot of these sellers they're not like an expired or a for sale by owner or, or a, a pre foreclosure. These guys haven't made the decision to do anything yet. A lot of these leads are gonna be like, we're thinking about it. We might do something in the next few months. We're weighing out options. So it's your job to set an appointment, meet them there, and provide them the options that they're looking for and, and help them determine like, does this make financial sense? What would it look like? Uh, financially for them to do this? What are their alternatives? So a lot of these appointments will become follow-ups because they're not, not—they're just not gonna be ready to do anything at this point. But if you're an accelerator student of mine, you understand like how to close, you understand how to get that agreement signed. So you have a really good chance at getting the agreement signed. In the last five months from the listing machine, I've gotten about seven agreements signed. Four of them actually went on market. Three of them actually ended up withdrawing their agreement with me because they're like, actually, we're gonna take this other option or actually we're gonna hold off for another six months or actually we're gonna whatever. So there is this new cancellation rate that I've never really seen before, but um, I attribute that to number one, I am, I am a very effective closer, so I will get that agreement signed. And, um, and maybe the seller realizes actually that's, this is not the best direction for us. And so at that point, I'm like, all good, yeah, you, you guys do what's best for you guys and just let me know if um, you guys want to proceed in the future. 
But out of the listings that did make it onto the market, let me tell you about them. My very first listing from the listing machine was my very first month of working with my ISA. I got I got a listing my very first month with uh, with them. This guy happened to live two minutes away from me. I drove I drove over to his house. I got the agreement signed right then and there. And one week later, they went on the market. That property went under contract within six days, closed in 30 days, and I got paid about eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars from that. Uh, sale. That seller actually ended up buying a property like two hours east um, and I'm getting 14 grand from the sale of that property. That very next week I went out uh, on another appointment. I got the agreement signed right then and there. They ended up canceling. Like two weeks after that I got a 1.5 million dollar listing. This was like five minutes away from me. That one is like a development deal. The fourth listing I got was a condo nearby. I actually met the guy over Zoom, never met the guy in person. I've never stepped foot in his condo. I got the agreement signed via DocuSign, uh, but before we even listed the property, he found the buyer. And so uh, we went under contract before the, um, we even listed the property. We closed it in like 14 days because it was a cash deal and I made 3% on that. And that commission check at the end of the day was $11,000. I also got another agreement signed uh, from a condo that was uh, like five minutes away. That ended up being a short sale and I got the agreement signed for 6% on my side. However, that one ended up falling through before we listed the property because um, his family members were saying like, we don't know what a short sale is. This might be a scam and I couldn't convince them otherwise. Tomorrow morning, I'm about to go active on an $850,000 property that I actually, I don't know what the guy looks like. I never met him. I don't know what the property looks like. I never stepped inside. I actually have my listing partner go out and um, meet the guy, got the agreement signed, and my partner is taking care of that listing from start to end. So all I had to do was find the lead, set the appointment for her, and she's taking care of everything else, and I'm earning 50% of that transaction. So I wanna talk a little bit more about that, um, but before I do, I wanna, I wanna like really stress how much freedom the listing machine has given me. I now no longer have to cold call. I, I don't have to do the worst part about this. All I'm now doing is following up. With these a lot with a lot of these listing appointments, I actually end up setting these appointments over Zoom. So now I try to take as many listing appointments over Zoom. If it's within like 20, 25 minutes drive, I'll go see them. But if it's further out than that, I am sending my listing partners out to go take them down for me. And working with this listing partner has been amazing because I, I've been able to train her to close for the agreement signed. And now we have this deal where I say, hey, anything in this domain, I'm gonna set I'm gonna set appointments for you and send them to you. You are my listing partner and in return for this exchange you give me 50% of the commissions from the transaction. You take care of everything else after the appointment is set. Now I'm earning on transaction. This is extremely valuable to me because I remember I, um, I went on a business trip to Atlanta and I was at a conference and I remember one of the days at the conference was um, the listing review date for two listings of mine. So for two listings, I'm getting a bunch of agents emailing me their offers and I'm trying to like put out fires with my sellers. I had to keep stepping out of the conference room to go talk to my clients and agents. And I remember thinking, I hate this. I hate doing all of this. This is not making me money. This is like not something that I should be taking care of. I wish I could have someone else handle the seller and the other agents bullshit. I wish I didn't have to do the documents and forms. I wish I didn't have to send out signatures. I wish I didn't have to write counter offers. I wish I didn't have to do any of that. I wish I just set the appointment and went on the appointment. I wish I just set the appointment and went on the appointment. That's it. That's it. And now I have through the listing machine, I have found a way to not have to lead generate, someone lead generates for me. And now I just set the appointment. And sometimes I go on the appointment, but sometimes I have others go on the appointment. And the cool thing is like last week, um, I had agents go on appointments while I was at my own appointment at the same time. And this was the very first time I felt like true leverage. 
because while I was making money at another appointment, I had an agent of mine on another appointment making me money. And I've never felt this way before. It was it's it's a level of like freedom. It's a it's like a wow, how much money can I make doing this? So the very next step for me in the listing machine is to find an ISA that just follows up with my CRM leads. I have a lot of leads in my CRM. I only want to be calling the people that like really have their hands raised of like, hey, I'm going to sell in just a few months. I just want to be calling those people. I don't want to be calling all the people that are going to be selling in like a year out, two years out, four years out. That's the job of an ISA. I shouldn't have to be doing that. So that's the very next step for me. If you're interested in learning more about the listing machine, I've actually created something that would teach you step-by-step step how to create a listing machine of your own. And if you're interested in learning more, there's a link in the description below. Click that link, check it out, and if you're interested, I'll see you inside.